Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you guys are new here, and in today's video, I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I pack on my carry-on. I just wanna specify carry-on because I'm not gonna be sharing with you what I carry on on my suitcase, but rather, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I carry on in my fanny pack, as well as my backpack when I am traveling on the airplane. And the reason why I decided to do just these two instead of the carry-on suitcase case because I think it's going to be a separate video whereas these two I think are actually the more important ones I was telling my friend how I pack these things and she said that there's a lot of really good logic behind it so she actually encouraged me to make this video because I feel like this might actually be very helpful for you guys in terms of traveling if you guys are not new to my channel you will know I have been flying pretty often in the last year or so and honestly after so many different flights I feel like I've got this down to to a science and now whenever I'm traveling I am super prepared and I always have everything that I need with me once again because with the carry-on suitcase I feel like everyone is a little bit different but I think there are a few core things in both of the fanny pack and the backpack that we're all gonna have similarities on to get started I'm going to be mostly focusing on the fanny pack the backpack I think will breeze through so depending on what kind of trip I'm going on if I know that my trip has a lot of outdoor activities such as jet skiing or hiking or whatever it is, I will usually always bring my fanny pack. But if I know it's city oriented, then the fanny pack I'll use for the plane would just be my fancier one, which is the leather YSL fanny pack. Regardless, I really, really highly recommend getting a fanny pack because with a fanny pack, they don't actually include that as one of your bags. So if you guys didn't know, when you go on a plane, you're allowed one carry-on suitcase as well as one personal item, which is just a backpack, but because a fanny pack is so small and it's just on your waist, they don't even consider that a personal item or I've never gotten in trouble for it. And they've always been able to see my fanny pack. So I highly recommend getting one. The second reason why I really recommend getting a fanny pack is because it is always in front of you. So especially if you are traveling alone, which I have done a million times, I just feel more comfortable knowing that all of my very important documents and AirPods and things like that are always on me, on my body, even when I go to the bathroom. So whenever I leave my seat, I'm not nervous about it. I've had a very bad experience where I left my seat one time and this was back when I used to carry purses and someone actually stole my bag and I had to confront them. But anyway, so now after that experience, I have really, really liked um, using both of my fanny packs when I'm on a plane. Before I get started on what's in my fanny pack, I do wanna make a recommendation. So there is a really good one by Lululemon that you guys can check out. I'll leave a link down below. There's so many different colors. The size is relatively similar and you can pretty much put all the same things in there and a lot of my friends actually use the exact Lululemon one instead of just for traveling but they use it for hiking and a lot of day-to-day -day stuff as well so it's definitely a really good investment and I highly recommend it especially if you are going on a plane. Diving in to what goes in my fanny pack I've taken all the things out and I'm going to start with the biggest items and then going down to the smallest. So the first and most important item that is big I always have obviously my passport on me and I just put this in the very back of my fanny pack like so. The second item I have is I always have some extra masks now that we are living in the era of COVID. I always have some extra masks just in my fanny pack just because when you're going on a plane you obviously need one and especially because this is a bag for the plane every time you go on a plane you need one sometimes if you drop it on the ground by accident it's just always good to have some extra masks. So I also put this just right here in my fanny fanny pack. The second item is this wallet. Whenever I am traveling, I actually like to go for a smaller size wallet. If you guys have been following me, you will know that I did a whole card holder review on the Chanel card holder. And although I love that one and it is great for when I am at home right now, most of the time when I travel, I actually use this one just because the number of credit cards that I use and gift cards go way down. Whereas when I'm in Toronto, I have gift cards. I have cash. I have a million other credit cards. When I'm actually traveling, I only have a few credit cards that I need and definitely don't ever use my gift cards. So I actually opt for a smaller card holder like this. And this can also fit a little bit of cash. So that's why I use this. In addition to my little card holder, I actually also use a coin pouch. So this coin pouch, my mom actually sew for me. It's made from real leather. And the reason why I carry this whenever I travel is because I feel like 
like a lot of places still take cash especially if you're traveling so especially if you are in Europe or sometimes even the states I find only take cash or if you're in Mexico they definitely take cash a lot of the times I use this sometimes for bills and a lot of times for coins so I have a lot of US and euro coins in here but I find that it's super useful when I'm traveling I also want to note that this video is not at all super glamorous this is almost a more practical video but I really hope that everything that I share today is going to be very helpful for you the next thing that I carry with me actually I'm just gonna put this in here because this this is my rapid test result. Sometimes the rapid test people don't do email and only do hard copies. So that is definitely important when I travel. The next item that I have with me is I have a little pouch thingy. This is a feminine wipe and it is by Sweet Spot. I always, always, always carry a few with me. I will link it down below. It's from Amazon. You can buy a little box and I always carry a few with me because when you're traveling on a plane, you just feel so dis disgusting and I feel like especially for girls this is so useful because if you have your period or if you're coming off of a period or even if you're just feeling gross down there from a really long travel day whenever I use this when I travel I just already feel like I took a mini shower or even if you go to the bathroom and I'm not talking about peeing I feel like this just wipes you down super cleanly so this is always something I carry with me whenever I travel the next item that I carry with me are earphones and these ones are the most conventional earphones that you can think about this is the old plug this is not the new iphone plug in the back anymore this is just the old one the reason why i carry this is because when you're on a plane you can watch a movie and they obviously don't have the apple one so you definitely need a traditional one but because for long airplane rides sometimes my airpods might run out so because of that I also carry this adapter and this adapter will allow me to either listen to music music on my phone or watch movies on my phone or iPad whatever it is but at the same time if I want to watch something on my laptop or if I want to watch something that is offered on the airplane I can still use this one so I definitely recommend still keeping one of your old headphones around and definitely buying an adapter this is really practical when you travel and you don't have to carry two sets of headsets ironically when I said that I actually do carry two sets of headsets because I do carry my airpods around but I feel like this is a little bit different because you know airpods are wireless and it's not so much for the actual airplane but i also carry my airpods around i've always purchased airpod holders this is my first generation ones with this hook because i lose my airpods quite often or not lose but like lose it around the house so it's just very easy for me to either put an air tag on or a tile so these things are just very useful um, but i always always have that with me when i travel the next item that i have with me is actually just a regular iPhone charger or just a phone charger in general. I find that this is extremely important and especially carrying around one that is compatible for the plane. So typically when you're on an airplane, they usually just have a USB, a regular USB, not a USB-C outlet for you to charge your phone. So there's always one in my fanny pack so I can charge my phone when I'm on the airplane. The last few things that I bring on the plane with me are actually more hygiene things. Things. The first thing is I also always carry around a hair tie because a lot of the times when I'm moving around or once I get to the hotel or whatever it is, if it gets super hot, I always keep an extra hair tie in my bag and that is always stored here. In terms of the hygiene stuff, I have, let me just show you guys. The first thing is I have alcoholic wipes because I like to either wipe down my table, my phone, whatever it is, whenever I'm on a plane. So I always carry these little alcoholic wipes on me you can also buy some extra ones on Amazon but I always carry it with me and I have a bigger set in my carry-on because I like to just always wipe my phone if you guys know me I'm a little bit of a germaphobe especially my phone I wipe down my phone every single night with an alcohol swab or like a Lysol wipe or something because I am very very germaphobe when it comes to my phone the next thing is obviously a hand sanitizer because we are once again living in the age of COVID so I will always carry a hand 
hand sanitizer around a very very tiny hand lotion so this one i love 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 the size because it is so small this is the smallest hand cream i've ever been able to find and i love it because it does not take up any space this one is from loctane and they always 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 sell these really tiny ones and they also sell it in a set so i highly recommend getting this because it just honestly doesn't take up any space it's perfect for just this carry-on any type of really small purses that you have which i know i have a lot of so i always like to have one of these loctane hand creams in my purse the last two items are also quite small i just like to carry a heavy duty lip balm with me so my go-to heavy duty lip balm is the one by bliss text and it is the blue one and this is the medicare i just feel like this is just the one that's the most versatile the one that i can go to the most often like i don't need this necessarily every day on days when my lips are extremely chapped this is always my answer i just like to keep one so i don't have to keep buying or bringing a bunch of different lip balms with me when i travel the next two items i actually always when i'm shopping at sephora i always always grab the fragrance samples that is my go-to thing whenever i'm shopping on sephora online because i always grab these and i like to put this in my purse i do have travel size perfumes but i like to even more downsize when i'm traveling for my upcoming trip to new york which i will also be uploading a vlog next week when the trip is over my theme is going to be the dior perfume and it's the jador perfume so i was able to find enough samples and collect them over time that this is going to be my fragrance for this entire trip so this is going to be just in my purse and it just once again takes up so little room and i love it because you know if you feel like you smell bad you can give yourself a little spritz when you're at the airport last two things this one is actually just more personal to me so i am currently on invisalign so i also have to carry a travel case with me so when i eat i can take it off but the last thing that is extremely important and everyone always forgets is you need to carry a pen with you whenever you're traveling especially when you're traveling internationally because whenever you're coming back to your home country or if you're traveling to another country they always hand out the custom forms when you're on the airplane so it is extremely important that you bring a pen with you and another thing is try to not opt for pens like this that have the clicky thing because a lot of the times depending on your movement the pen will be clicked and it will just like draw all over your entire bag or the ink will explode and it will just destroy your bag the last thing you want is destroying your passport because a lot of the times countries will not let you fly if your passport is compromised or water damaged or whatever it is so you always want to protect your passport at all costs so it's important to carry a pen with a lid so it doesn't explode in your bag i actually do have one more item this is a recent lesson of mine i also decided to start carrying around paper towels and just like little napkins and stuff you can buy a bunch of them at bulk i actually got this from a hotel you can buy a bunch of them in bulk either on amazon or even at a drugstore but this is actually really really useful because if you're on a plane and you need to blow your nose or if you need to wipe your hands whatever it is i always like to now carry tissues with me because i found that that was always the one thing that i was missing whenever i was traveling and i would need to wipe my mouth or whatever it is and i never have this on hand the other thing that i actually do bring with me that i realize i forgot is i actually sometimes carry a very mini floss this might just be a me problem but because i'm on invisaligns right now my teeth are super like open and then whenever i eat there's always something in my teeth so i always actually like to carry a little bit of floss with me even gum as well for breath or even mints and stuff like that so that's also something i like to bring i always like to keep in mind very long travel days so this is always something that i can grab whenever i'm in the bathroom or just something very easy that i don't have to grab out my entire bag and that's the purpose of my fanny pack okay so moving on to my backpack i feel like this one we can breeze through pretty quickly the backpack that i have is from arcteryx and this is my favorite backpack in the entire world this carried me all throughout university and now it is my constant travel backpack i do not like to have a duffel bag because it is extremely heavy on one shoulder so i like to travel with a backpack this particular exact style is discontinued however i found a really really similar one in arcteryx i believe it's called matias 
or something or mattis or like something like that i will leave a link down below the reason why i like to carry my backpack on me is mostly because i like to carry my laptop on me i've also learned a really big lesson when i was traveling if you feel like there's a chance that if your large suitcase that you check in could ever be lost make sure to put everything that you need immediately in your smaller suitcase your smaller backpack etc there was one time i remember my flight got delayed they put me in a hotel and thankfully all of my toiletries my pjs my extra underwear etc etc. All of that stuff was in my small suitcase. So I was fine. It just reaffirmed that you should never put your toiletries or whatever in another suitcase especially if you're not going on a direct flight or if the next day is really important and you need to have your stuff on you so that being said my backpack i like to carry my laptop obviously in the very back i really like this backpack because there's actually a compartment just for my laptop as you can see so i like to carry my backpack the other thing i like to carry is this mirror by the glitz room so one of you guys actually started a small business and sent this to me and I've already put this on my favorites video before but this is my favorite thing in the entire world and whenever I travel with friends everyone is obsessed with it it's actually just a mirror you can put it up and it just stands alone like this it is super useful when you're traveling alone or even if you're putting on your makeup or whatever on the plane or if anyone does that I don't do that but like it's been very helpful whenever I share a hotel room with girls and everyone's crowded around the bathroom mirror I have this one and I can just do my makeup on the table or on my bed and this also lights up around so you can see that there's like a ring light around so it's honestly super useful it's also chargeable it is my favorite thing to carry with me whenever i travel as i have mentioned before i always carry my skincare with me that little pouch is from paravel i will link everything below i also like to carry my makeup with me this case is from charlotte tilbury and i also like to carry all of my extra electronics with me so my laptop charger phone charger watch charger everything once again every electronic thing that i could think of is in this bag because when I travel I'm quite risk averse and I want to always prepare myself in case I lose my suitcase or I just want to prepare myself in case the airline loses my suitcase or whatnot so I like to have those on me the next few items that I like to bring and the rest of the stuff is just honestly dependent on trip but I also like to bring my journal with me I love 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 journaling when I am on a trip and I also definitely carry a kindle with me because I really like reading so so I will always carry a Kindle. Some extra stuff that I actually usually like to bring but just don't have it right this very moment. I also like to carry my glasses and my sunglasses in this backpack as well. I guess I just don't have it because I have been using my glasses, but I will always have my glasses and my sunglasses in my backpack as well, just because if I arrive to the country and it's extremely bright, like if I go to a tropical area, then I have my glasses relatively close. The last thing is because I am Canadian, I love to carry this little Canada tag on my backpack. I actually just got this at Canadian Tire and it was only like I don't know I want to say a dollar it was something ridiculously cheap I think everyone should carry this on them I wanted to buy like four one for each of my suitcases and my bag and like whatever it is I just like having this on me whenever we have our flag on I feel like it actually just initiates a lot of conversation you get to meet a lot of new people and everyone is just very approachable when they see that you're from Canada not saying that they're not approachable if you're from anywhere else I'm just saying that you know Canadians will spot Canadians and then that would spark a conversation so I love having my flag around me as well and get to meet other people from Canada that is pretty much everything that I pack when I go on a plane I hope that this video is helpful I know once again this was not like a aesthetically pleasing like glamorous video but I really do hope that the practicality of this video have given you guys some ideas and if there's anything else or any ideas that you have or things that you like to bring when you travel please leave it in the comment section down below because I am always on the go and I would love to to improve my system here. I feel like this has taken me a year to really hone in what I like to bring around and I like it so far. There's always room for improvement. So if there's anything that you guys like to carry around, please let me know and I would love to have that with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys have a great week. Bye.